Are you paying attention? Yeah. Huh? You watching that? Yeah. yeah. You seeing that, Ray? You catching that? Yeah, falling on yeah? the ground. <laughs> okay, yeah. now what? What do I have left? Two jacks, one eight, one king, one six. Two aces, one ten, one nine, one five. One five. Yeah. You are beautiful, man. You just watched a clip from Rain Man, an Academy Award-winning film where Dustin Hoffman stars as an autistic savant who, among other things, can instantaneously count his way through a deck of cards. His brother exploits his talent to bring down a Vegas casino in one of the most classic scenes in movie history. Rain Man is one of my top 10 favorite movies, and it inspired me to create a card-counting, blackjack-playing AI that I call Rain Man 2.0. Rain Man 2.0 currently consists of a camera and a Python script that runs on my PC. <clears throat> As cards are dealt in front of his camera, they're passed into a machine learning neural network that identifies and counts each card. Rain Man only needs to see the rank and suit information in the corner of the card to identify it. The cards can be identified even when they're overlapping or when they're against a noisy background. <clears throat> Rain Man 2.0 can count his way through a full deck of cards. He keeps track of what's come out of the deck so I know exactly what's left. When a few enough cards remain, I can tell you what they are without even looking at them, just like Rain Man can in the movie. Ready? Let's try it. Five, eight, jack, two, three. There we go. It works. So, you might be wondering, when am I going to take this thing to a casino? Well, there's a couple catches. Stay tuned till the end of the video where I'll explain his applications and how I plan to use them. First though, I'll go over the basics of card counting, and then talk about the object detection model and Python script that make this AI work. Card counting is a strategy employed by blackjack players to gain a slight advantage over the casino. Here's how it works. At the beginning of a new deck of blackjack, the count starts at zero. As cards are dealt out, the player adds or subtracts from the running count depending on the value of the card. If the card is a 2 through a 6, the count is increased by 1. If the card is a 10, face card, or an ace, the count is decreased by 1. If the card is a 7 through 9, the count doesn't change. Right now we have plus 1, minus 1, and 0, so the running count is at 0. Let's finish dealing and count the rest of the cards. It's another minus 1, 0, minus 1, and plus 1 brings us to a running total of minus 1. That's all there is to it. When the count is high, it means there are significantly more 10 value cards and aces remaining in the deck than there are low cards. 10 cards and aces are more valuable to the player than they are to the dealer. At high counts, the player can increase their bet since they know they're more likely to win. <clears throat> they can also change their betting strategy and do things like splitting 10s to take advantage of the extra high cards in the deck. Boom. Boom. That's a winner. Counting cards increases the player's overall expected return on their money from negative 0.6% to as much as 1.3%. This means they can expect to win money in the long term, effectively beating the casino. For a brief introduction to card counting and its impact on House Edge, check out wizardofodds.com, which I've linked in the video description below. Rain Man 2.0 is programmed to implement the same plus one, minus one counting strategy, also known as the high-low strategy. <clears throat> He identifies high cards, middle cards, and low cards as they come out of the deck. To see the cards, Rain Man uses YOLO, a machine learning object detection model that's trained to identify each card by looking at the rank and suit symbol in the corner. To train an object detection model, hundreds or thousands of images have to be provided to the training algorithm so it can learn what the objects look like. For my previous card detection models, I had manually taken hundreds of pictures of playing cards and then painstakingly labeled each one of them. It's a very time-consuming process. Since you need to use thousands and thousands of images to train a robust model, manually taking pictures and labeling them takes too much time to be a viable option. Instead, for this model, I used synthetic image generation to create 50,000 pictures of playing cards for training. To create these images, I first captured video of each of the 52 cards in a variety of lighting conditions. 
Then, I used OpenCV to extract hundreds of isolated images of the cards from each video. I used a script to overlay these extracted images on random backgrounds in random orientations. I set the script to create 50,000 images for training. The script automatically labels the card corners in each image and creates XML files to store the bounding box data. It's awesome and it saves me a ton of work. I owe a huge shout out to a YouTuber whose name I have no idea how to pronounce, but I'm going to try anyway, Jax. Jax made an excellent video in GitHub repository showing how to create these synthetic images. His video is linked in the description below if you'd like to try it yourself. Also, if you want to see some amazing computer vision projects, check out his other videos. Once I generated the 50,000 images, I used them to train a YOLO V3 model for card detection. The model was trained using the Darknet framework, and training took about 8 hours to complete. Using the trained YOLO model, Rainman can easily identify cards that are dealt in front of him. YOLO is a lightweight but accurate detection model that works very well for this application. The model is fast, robust, and can identify cards in a variety of conditions. It runs quicker and is more accurate than my old, faster RCNN model, even when the old model was trained with the same 50,000 images on TensorFlow. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the YOLO model versus the faster RCNN model. I wrote a Python program to implement the YOLO model into a real-time card detection application. The program continuously passes each frame from the camera into the YOLO model to detect all cards in the frame. It actually detects both corners of the cards, but I filter the results out to only show the upper corner detection. When a card has been detected for two consecutive frames, it gets counted. I created a user interface to show the running count and display which cards are still remaining in the deck. When a card is counted, the program updates the count and draws an X over the counted card. So, what are the applications for this card counting AI? You know, I would love to take it to a casino and count cards and win tons of money, but there's a few limitations. One, I can't walk in and sit down at a blackjack table with a webcam strapped to my head. Most casinos won't even let you have a cell phone at the table, let alone any sort of camera. I could use a hidden camera, but most hidden cameras have a low definition resolution that doesn't provide a clear enough picture of the cards. The cards would be blurry, small, and viewed at an angled perspective. The detection model would have to be extremely robust to identify cards in these conditions. It's doable, but it would take a lot of work. Second, I'm currently running Rain Man on my high-powered gaming PC. It's a little too bulky to take into the casino. All right, I'm ready. Let's play some blackjack. I'll need to run it on a more portable platform if I want to take it inside a casino. Third, Rain Man can currently only count through one deck of cards. Most casinos use eight deck shoes at their blackjack tables. My script needs a few tweaks to make it work with multiple decks. This is my next goal for the project. For now, I use Rain Man to help me practice counting cards. I point him at the table and play through a few hands of blackjack, keeping count of the cards in my head. Once I'm more than halfway through the deck, I pause and check the count reported by Rain Man to see if it matches the count in my head. All right, counts at three, ready? Yes! <laughs> we got it. With a few changes, he could be used to help players make informed decisions in other card games like Texas Hold'em hmm. or Cribbage. Hmm. Rain Man 2.0 could also be used to help visually impaired people play card games. The player could show their hand to Rain Man and then have the cards read back to them. All right, Rain Man, tell me what cards I have. You have a five of hearts. Nine of hearts, six of clubs, jack of clubs, and a king of diamonds. This functionality could be implemented in a smartphone app, giving visually impaired users a convenient and easy way to see playing cards when braille cards aren't available. Ultimately, I plan to turn Rain Man 2.0 into a full-fledged blackjack player, an AI that can sit at the table, have cards dealt in front of him, and make hit or stand decisions based on the cards in his hand. He'll implement basic strategy and adjust his play based on the running count, making him the perfect blackjack player. My plan is to run Rain Man on a Raspberry Pi so he'll be small and portable. Why am I doing this? Mostly, I just want a friend I can play blackjack with. Maybe someday I'll be able to take him to the casino and bring down the house. This video is the first part in a series of videos about Rain Man 2.0. 
I'll post additional videos as I continue to build out his functionality. The project will involve lightweight machine learning, computer vision algorithms, Python programming, and a whole lot of blackjack. If this sounds interesting to you, please stay tuned for future videos. Thanks for watching.